Welcome to Jackass! Yeah. Three, two, one! And I remember being terrified of how are we going to make this a movie? I don't even still barely know how to make it a TV show. Like, we never got good at making the TV show, you know? <laughs> and uh, and then it was a movie, and, and, and we started to think, just like we did on the beginning of the TV show, like, well, how do we make it a movie? And it turns out, don't do anything different, just go bigger and crazier was all, that was the recipe. I remember Jeff said, hey man, it's not a TV show anymore, now it's a movie and it's rated R, everything's gotta be bigger and crazier and don't submit any half-ass ideas. And the first thing that came to my mind, I said, how about if I get myself tattooed on myself larger than myself? Which, I don't know if that was even that great of a movie idea, but we did it. Yeah. <laughs> And then I said, well, why don't we shove a toy car up your ass? <laughs> and you said, my dad won't like that, but Ryan will sure do it. <laughs> well, when it was first suggested, uh, Spike and Jeff suggested it to me. I thought, what, are we going to have someone play us in a movie? That sounds terrible. And they're like, no, we'll just make a naughty version of the TV show. I'm like, I'm, I like that. So uh, I was on board after that. What up, Aaron? What's up, dude? Yeah, dude. Help us crowd, brother. <laughs> um, you know, I'm pretty happy with the underwater fart because I recently did this experiment for YouTube where I was trying to contain fireworks explosion. And I quickly learned that what I was doing was making pipe bombs. And then we had the same kind of dynamic by trapping a fart underwater and containing that explosion. Just a little fart lit with an underwater torch. Like, it was a blast that like really rocked my balls. Like, to think that an underwater fart could be like such a powerful blast is really, really Not just his balls, his butthole too. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so cool too, we shot it on the Phantom camera, so you see <laughs> every little bit of that percussive downward nuclear explosion that just totally almost rips your balls yeah. off. Yeah, I mean when you contain an explosion, you amplify it. And that's what happened with the underwater fart. It was just absolutely fascinating and uh, triumphant and I mean, uh, that's the one that's just always gonna stick with me. For me, the opener of this movie, I mean, I, it's just, it's a no brainer. It's, yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah, I mean, there was no brains. <laughs> I actually held the brains up. Well, one day, I'm sorry, the thighs, the thighs, because they kept dropping under the road. It was so I had to hold them up so they kept in the movie. You physically had to crawl under the table and hold them up. And, um, and then but the yeah. road we had designed was a piece of skateboard grip tape that just had a hole cut through it that we stuffed your, <laughs> your wiener and balls through. And then your ball, they were under those hot lamps, get drippy, and they started dripping through that hole. And as they came through the hole, they would get sanded down. <laughs> there, were, there were so many elements. Oh, yeah, oh God, there's so many elements, like with the puppetry, the, the special effects. Dude, there was the, heavy the, the, machinery. The micro scenes. Yeah. And because of COVID, no one, was able to get together to properly like discuss how every all the moving parts would work together. So Knoxville had to save it by, by going under there and holding the balls up. I mean, look, we're, we're filmmakers. Producing. Yeah, we're filmmakers. We make films. Yeah, we do what it takes. You got to wear a lot of hats in this. Business. Yeah, God, I I do love the the toy car at the end of the the first movie. The silence of the lambs oh, in God. this movie. The high five really worked in the Jackass 3D. It's so funny because, yeah, there are those ones, you'll pitch me a lot of times, these cartoony ideas that I have no faith in. Like, you pitched me the high five of the giant hand that we would hit around the corner. I had no faith in that, that that was going to work. And on the new movie, he pitched me the idea of hiding a bear and then springing a bear on somebody. And I was like, how are we ever going to do that? Bears are loud. There's no way to do this. But he just kept pushing and pushing. And finally, <laughs> like, all right, we'll, we'll figure, <laughs> let's put our minds to it. And we figured it out. And to me, that's one of the funniest things. And that bit almost went a little too long with the bear. Like, where the bear got a little, it could have gone really wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah I remember, remember like being like, we better stop this bear. Like, I remember that too, but I was laughing too hard to actually say stop. So. And <laughs> you had no, you had no uh, uh, real, you know, you weren't going to say stop. I was just glad it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs>
You like this song? Yeah. Kind of makes you feel like partying. I kind of feel like partying right now. Woo! Well, when you're hung like Pontius, you, you're going to do the penis stuff. Some things just like naturally lend themselves to certain people. Yeah. Like yeah. Dave does the poop stuff. Uh, Wee Man does the little guy stuff. Preston does the fat guy stuff. And when you need a really smart intellectual scene, you just cut to me behind the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be the gnarliest ever. Uh, in my jackass career, I'm sad to say this, but getting my back tattoo oh, yeah, was, that was really, nightmare. really gnarly painful. It was like 16 hours all told of just super painful tattooing on my back, and I did not take it well. I actually was there every night. There were four different nights that I went, and uh, it hurt so badly. This uh, guy who did my back tattoo was um, just a world-renowned, like, like most talented guy ever, and he just hated me. He's like, dude, I thought you were supposed to be some kind of a tough guy. Like, the f yeah. You asshole. <laughs> Wait, do you still have that tattoo? <laughs> yeah. Prove it, prove it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Um, for me, by far, the glove of ants, which is, it's like a rite of passage in the Amazon. That, like, boys, when they come of age, have to wear this glove full of, it's all these bullet ants that are, like, sewn, or, like, stuck into it. The bullet ant has the most painful sting of any ant, in, or any insect in nature. And um, just getting stung by one sucks, but I got stung by hundreds upon hundreds. And it's the worst pain of my life, and it goes on for, like, 24 hours, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I, they didn't, I, God, I had to like, I was just up all night in this hotel in Brazil, buying my own ice and throwing it in a garbage can and like laying there in, in um, like until the ice melted and then I get the more ice. I've ever seen you. It, was the, it was the worst. But it was the wor worse than everything else combined. I want to saw my arm off. You may win the award for most painful was, thing. Uh, that sucks. It sucked. You know, the, the bull in this movie, you know, where I broke my wrist, broke my rib, got a concussion and a brain hemorrhage. That was painful, but I gotta say, getting pepper sprayed all those years ago, it's like someone started a fire in your eyes and tried to put it out with gasoline. It's for 15 or 20 minutes too. Nothing like Chris had to endure, but in your eyes, it did not feel good. Pepper spray's horrible. Yeah, it sucks. You getting tired? Yeah, you shouldn't drink so much. I, that was a hard movie to make. And I remember when it got green lit, Jeff and I walked out of Paramount going, Oh God, they just, they want the movie. Jeez. <laughs> but it, it, it was really hard to figure out, but I'm really proud of what we did. And uh, it, it, yeah, it was a lot of work, but I'm happy how it turned out. Oh. Oh. Blue cocktail supreme. <laughs> the giant hand. To me, I had no faith in that one, and when I saw it, like it was the funniest thing that we could have just done all day. Getting people with that hand the was giant so hands funny. The best. But the Pooh Cocktail Supreme was incredible to watch. The spectacle of it and was just so and the, the violent fact, and disgusting. Yes, yeah, violent and disgusting, and, and we didn't know the gold we had until we saw the interior cameras, which we <coughs> we had no way to watch until we took them out of there and cleaned them off, and then played back that footage, and that's when it was like, oh my god. Concussions aren't great, but as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49, so we're good. What used to make us laugh on the first film, we shot that, and then we got to keep upping the bar to make each other laugh. Yeah, it's the wrong mindset to think, how are we going to outdo what we just did? Because that's that's a dangerous path to go down. What, what I always try to tell these guys, all you got to do is be funny. If it's funny, yeah. we win. Right. And okay. what we what makes us laugh is naturally more outrageous than what we've already shot. So it happens naturally anyway. When you put pressure on yourself to outdo it, it, it sort right. of takes yeah. the spirit away. It happens in different directions. Like, yeah, exactly. The, the line moves around. Like, it's not yeah. the funny line is never this. It's like, oh, this is funny today, but man, tomorrow that might be funny, you know? Can you feel my heart? <laughs> wow. Well, we've been through so much together on screen and off, and like, our friendship has not only endured, it's gotten stronger. Nothing is more fun than making a jackass film because I get to be with my friends. I mean, we've been together for most of, the better part of our adult lives now. We're, we're stuck with each other. Like, we are way beyond friends. Like, we're, we are a family. Like, 
Yeah, it's just so awesome to be together and inspiring and motivating. And when you're filming a Jackass movie, you really are thinking there's no place I'd rather be. Yeah, it's funny because I, like, I was a little skeptical and nervous when we first got everyone back together uh, for this movie. And within five minutes, the magic was so palpable. Like, it was just so clearly, uh, oh, it's on. Like, even these new guys fit right in. It's just so natural. So, and it, it just made me realize how much I missed it.